Hi, everybody. My name is John Keenan. Today, I'll be introducing the CDC's Healthcare Associated Infection and Dialysis Dashboard. This dashboard encompasses years 2019 to 2023 and relies on data from the National Healthcare Safety Network's NHSN's dialysis component. Each year, approximately 500,000 individuals are treated with maintenance hemodialysis in the United States. Each person receiving dialysis requires a mechanism for vascular access so that person's blood circulation can be connected to the dialysis machine room. There are three main vascular access types. There's fistula, graft, and central venous catheter, or CVC. CVC has two subgroups, tunneled and non-tunneled CVCs, which have been combined into one CVC classification for our purposes. These access methods, along with a potentially impaired immune system, may lead to an increased risk of infections. This portal focuses on surveillance of three event types. There's bloodstream infections, or BSIs, intravenous antibiotic starts, or IVAS, and then signs of infection at the access type, which is pus, redness, and swelling, or PRS. Each of these measures help to inform infection strategies and support the HAI dashboard. The link to the CDC's antimicrobial resistance and patient, patient safety portal, the ARPSP portal, is listed here. For bloodstream infections, or BSIs, we report the Standardized Infection Ratio, or SIR. The SIR is NHSN's primary summary measure for evaluating and reporting dialysis bloodstream infections. It can be used to track infections at the national, state, local, or facility level. The most basic explanation of the SIR is it's the ratio of the predicted number of events to the observed number of events. The predicted number is calculated based on nationally aggregated data and across several vascular access types. A SIR or SIR precisely one is one where the expected number of events equals the, the predicted number of events. A SIR greater than one occurs when the observed events is greater than the predicted events. And a SIR between zero and one occurs when the observed events are less than predicted. The two other event types, IVS and PRS, do not have a SIR, and the reporting is in rates, the number of events per 100 patient months. When one navigates to the page, the first section encountered is what the developers call the hero cards. Hero cards report the BSI SIR, IVS rate, and PRS rate. Most of the data we'll see in the other sections can be filtered by year. However, here in the hero cards, only report the year, uh, only report the most recent year available, which is 2023. The first box or hero card is for the SIR for bloodstream infections. For 2023 data, we have an SIR of 0.31. The SIR of less than one indicates that there are fewer BSIs observed than predicted. This is a reduction of almost half from 2019, the first year data, which was 0.60. The next hero card is for the rate of IVS in 2023, which is 1.80 per 100 patient months. This is down from 2.35 per 100 in 2019. And then finally, the final hero card is for PRS and the rate, and that rate is 0 0.47 per 100 patient months, showing a slight reduction from 0 0.50 in 2019. The next section starts the geographic location section. Here we can start to drill down to look at a more granular look at the data. We have the three event types, BSI, or I'm sorry, BSI, IVS, and PRS. And below that, there are a drop down for each year. Here in this screenshot, we're looking at the BSI SIR for 2023 selected. The map of the US is a thematic map that uses shading to refer to rates. For states or territories with fewer than 10 reporting facilities, they're suppressed as insufficient data. This eliminates one for making inferences on a particular facility. Say, for example, we have a high SIR and there's only two facilities reporting in that state or territory, then one can make a pretty good determination of where those events originate. This map is looking at PRS for 2023. This event year combination has a bit more distribution among the states and territories. We can see a darker collection, those above 0 0.77 in the northern port of the portion of the country, such as Nebraska, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, then again, West Virginia and New Hampshire. The next group, which is a bit lighter, 0 0.62 to 0 0.76, that's in Oklahoma, Washington, North Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and Kentucky. 
This map is again looking at PRS for 2023. Here's an example of when you hover over a state that it'll display the estimate for that type, the confidence interval, and the number of facilities reporting. Here in California, we see a crew rate of PRS of 0.44, that's 100 patient months, a confidence interval of 0.42 to 0.45 with 648 facilities reporting. In the top right, there's a couple of uh, uh, options that we can navigate to. The first is the view data. When you click on view data, it opens up a table and allows one to save in one of three formats, the underlying data that populates the entire map. The next option is the save image option that allows one to save the image of the event year combination map and a PNG file. And finally, there's a share file, uh, share option, which allows one to link the dashboard directly to Facebook or X. The next section is a different look at the geographical location and again has the three events and the five year options. But this time the selection is a line bar graph for the estimate. One can see several states or territories simultaneously. For this, we can see PRS in uh, California is 0.44. That's the same value as 0.44 per 100 patient, month, 100 patient months we saw on the previous slide when the pop up when we we're looking at the state of California. The next two slides start off by event by access site. There are a lot of numbers here, so I'm not going to go over them each in detail, but just going to point out a few of the highlights. Here, since we're looking at bloodstream infections by access type, we don't report a SIR, but instead we look at rates per 100 patient months. The filters on the left are a bit different. We still have the drop down for the five years. Now, however, we have event type by overall, BSI, IVS, and PRS. This first table, uh, we have data from 2019, representing the first year data for this dashboard. This table lists the access, the total number of events, the total denominator, the crew rate, and the associated confidence intervals. Here in 2019 for BSI, we have just over 22,000 events with a denominator of 5.3 million patient months for a crew rate of 0.41. For IVS, we have almost 125,000 events, the same denominator for a crew rate of zero or 2.35. All PRS has 26,432 events, same denominator for a crew rate of 0 0.50 for 100 patient months. The next slide looks very sim similar, but now we're looking at year for 2023. When we look at all BSI, we have just shy of 14,000 events with a denominator of five, uh, just over 5 million uh, patient months for a crew rate of 0 0.27. All IVS, we have just over 91,000 events for the same denominator for a crew rate of 0 0.180. For all PRS, we have 23,764 events for a crew rate of 0 0.47. So if one were to look at this table and go back and forth, you can see the differences between 2019 and 2023. And for all BSIs in 2019, it was 0 0.41 per 100 patient months. That dropped to 0 0.27 per 100 patient months in 2023, or a 34% reduction. All IVS went from 2.35 in 2019 to 1.80, or a 23% reduction. And all PRS had a modest reduction of 0.50 in 2019 to a reduction of 0 0.47 in 2023 for a small reduction of 6.8. Uh, 6%. Finally, there's a resource section, which I've included the links here if anyone wants to have direct access. We have a link directly to the NHSN site with dozens of links to protocols, information, and data and material. For those new to the scope of NHSN, please take a few minutes to go down this rabbit hole of information on this site. There's uh, references to the SIR. There's the quick reference guide to the BSI SIR. This is a short two page introduction to the measure. For those wanting a much deeper dive into the SIR, we have a complete 40 plus page resource. A fair warning, this is very detailed and does have a good bit of statistical processing outlining the full, again, very detailed look in the SIR. For those wanting to avoid the statistical explanation, <clears throat> the two page link above will suffice. There is a link to the 2014 dialysis surveillance report. This is a link to a manuscript first introduced in the SIR and focuses on data older than what's contained here, looking at 2014. There's a link to a six-year follow-up of bloodstream infections and hemodialysis facilities in the United States. 
that's looking at NHSN data from 2020, and that's a follow-up to the 2014 surveillance report. And finally, there's a direct link to the NHSN dialysis component. Uh, resources, some continued. If you need to submit a ticket to serve now, there's a link to that provided here. And then if you need to get in touch with the NHSN, there's an NHSN what, uh, email at nhsn at cdc.gov. And with that, thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please reach out.